you for checking out my video. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough on how to clean your AC evaporator to get rid of the funky smell in your Model 3. I got this AC cleaner from Amazon. If you're interested, I will post a link to this product. And I will let you know by the end of this video if this AC cleaner actually got rid of the smell. About four weeks ago, I did an air filter replacement. Unfortunately, just changing the air filters was not enough to get rid of the odor. I did post that video on YouTube, so you might want to check it out. It will show you the whole process on how to get access to the air filters. Well, this is the passenger side. In order to get access to the evaporator, you have to remove a panel here and also this panel as well. So check out my previous video on that. In this video, I'm going to start it here. So once you pull out the panel, you'll see this orange wire. The cabin air filters and the evaporators are in here. In order to remove the cabin air filters, you have to remove this panel here. Now in the previous video, I was struggling to unplug this wire to access the panel. But in this video, there's actually a shorter way to do it. So you don't have to mess with this high voltage wire. As you can see here, you see the little spark on the top there. So that is a T20 screw. So you just need to take off that screw there and then you can release this whole panel. In order to take off that screw, you'll need this screwdriver here. Almost removed the screw here. So let's see if you can see. Taking the screw out, I would say, takes the most time. So be patient. So now that the screw is off, I can just pull out the panel here without messing around with this high voltage wire. So here we go. See that? So it's out of the way and I'm just gonna tuck it in like that. Now you can see the, the cabin air filters right here. There's a flap there. Okay, so I'm pulling out the air filter. This is a new one that I bought a month ago and so I'm not gonna change this at all. But I got this from Amazon as well, and I will post the link to it if you guys are interested. And then there's also a flap there for the second reach in. Pull it up like so and pull it out. Pretty simple. Plenty of room. Now that the air filters are out, you have access to the AC evaporator. It's located right in there. Let me see if I can actually see it. So here's the AC evaporator. Apparently bacteria, mold, and mildew can grow and spread throughout the entire AC system. The AC evaporator is one of those places where they accumulate. I'm going to put the drainage pan underneath the car to capture the liquid that will be coming out. So I'm really serious about getting rid of the smell. That's why I am using two cans instead of just one. Hopefully that will do the trick. Okay, so the instruction says shake it well before you dispense the foam and it looks like uh, it's going to be facing toward the evaporator I'm wearing gloves just in case so that's it it does smell a little bit it looks like the foam is dissipating really nicely hopefully this will do the work killing the bacteria so after you dispense the foam you wait for 20 minutes so for now i'm just going to place the panel back on temporary i don't have the air filters in there yet because we need to run the ac to get all the evaporator out of the way so this way it will contain all the uh, air pressure so after you dispense the foam you have to wait 20 minutes and after 20 minutes you then run your ac at the highest level i'm gonna get out I have all the windows open and I'm going to run this AC for the next two minutes. So I completed running the AC for two minutes at the highest setting. I just turn it down so you can hear me. So the next phase is I'm going to spray this Lysol disinfectant. I'm going to open all the vents including the back here and uh, disable the recirculation so that the air can come in from the outside and then spray the Lysol the mold, the mildew, and the bacteria. 
they don't only live in the um, AC evaporator, they can also accumulate and form in the uh, ventilation system as well. I'm going to spray the uh, Lysol into the air intake. You can take off this panel here just to create more space to spray the Lysol. I am going to remove this panel out of the way. To remove the panel, you basically just lift it up like that. And then you do the same thing for all of them. Boom. It comes off and now you have more room here. You can even remove this as well but I think uh, this is sufficient enough to spray the Lysol in there. So as you can see I have all the windows open. So I'm going to shake this. It's sucking in a lot of air in here. So after I sprayed the Lysol I can remove the panel here tuck it in like so then just reinsert the air filter again the yellow facing you shove it in and then it'll fall into place and also the second air filter as well and then put the panel back on like so and screw back in place pretty simple I'm gonna put the screw in there first and then use a the screwdriver to tighten it so now everything is back in place uh, it's looking good. The grill panel here is also back in place as well. I'm going to leave all the windows open overnight. And just park it in my garage, allow the Lysol to dissipate. Since it smells, always comes on every morning. I'm just going to let this car sit here overnight. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to test the AC system to see if the smell is still around. All right, folks, so this is a big moment for this AC cleaner. I am going to turn on the AC system to see if this product actually killed uh, the bacteria, the mildew, the mold, and got rid of the smell. Uh, right now it smells kind of fresh. I don't smell anything. Usually I get the uh, smell early in the morning, the first time I turn on the AC. So I want to replicate that condition to see if, again, this product actually worked. All right, so here's a big moment. and. Uh, Wish me luck. Uh, I'm going to turn on the AC. So it's coming on. I'm going to give it a little speed here. All right, I'm bracing myself here. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's, uh, I don't get that smell anymore. So this product actually worked for now. Hopefully it will last a long time and that I don't have to do this till maybe the next year or so. So with that, thank you for watching the video. As the lessons learned, you just can't get rid of the smell by just replacing the cabin air filters itself. You also have to attack the smell using the AC evaporator cleaner as well as what I did was to also spray the Lysol into the AC system as well. So I hope this video is helpful to you. I do have other DIY projects on my channel, so please check them out. Other than that, thank you for watching the video and I hope to see you again soon.